fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial so today we'll be making a cow gown and this particular cow gown we are going to make i'm going to show you how to achieve it right from the scratch so here you can see i have my plain pattern paper now and it's time for us to start up this tutorial so i'm making my border lines as you can see and we are going to achieve this gown using a regular small scaled pattern so i this is the shoulder line of this um, drafting and this is the center front line so this center front line normally i'll just make my natural neckline you know how to achieve your natural neckline your bust circumference divide by 12 you have your natural neckline so i'll just go in with my pattern uh, my pattern ruler now and i'm going to curve my natural neck so next i'm going to do is to place the vertical measurements we need for this dress so the vertical measurement we need here is not much. What we need here is our chest line. We don't even need it that much. Our waist line and the full length. Or let me say our hip line and the full length of this gown. Because of the cow connection. So I'll just draw out these lines. I'll just draw them out accordingly. And this is it. So I'm going to name my chest, my waist, my hip line, and the full length or floor length. Let me call it floor length. So now we are going to start off this tutorial. So this tutorial will be started this way. Whatever your shoulder divide by two is, you mark. Then we are going to add, it depends on the length you want your sleeve to be. But since this is a small scale, from here to here, I'm going to measure from here to here as my elbow length. My elbow length is always at 13 inches, okay? That is for almost everybody who is within 13 inches or less on the super plus size. So you can measure from your shoulder to your elbow and de determine your desired uh, length, okay? I'm not making it to the wrist. You can make it to the elbow. You can make it below the elbow. So if you're making below the elbow, if your elbow is starting, just measure if it's 4 inches, you want it more or 3 inches. Okay, just take your measurement. So once I get my elbow, I'll add like maybe 3 inches. Okay, that is making everything 16 inches. So I'll come over to my hip line. That is the measurement I need. My hip divide by 4, I will mark. I'll also mark it on the floor length. My hip divide by 4. So whatever I have here, I'll come to the floor length of the pattern and I'll mark. And then I'll just make a straight line to it. Okay? So once I've made that straight line, I'm going to start all the way from here. I'll measure, although it's actually a creative um, uh, thing. So I will measure from the shoulder to the hip line. I have um, 12 inches. So these 12 inches, I'm going to measure the midpoint, okay, which is 6 inches. So why I'm doing all of this is I will keep a straight uh, ruler this way, okay. Then from that half of it, I will start making my cow curve into the hip line. This is how we usually go about the cow curl. So we have detailed videos on how to make this cow caftan. You can go to the channel and watch them. So here I'll come down by one inch or one and a half. Let me say one and a half, 1.5. This is a small scale. So the measurements are small in nature. I'll just go this way. So you can see what I have here now. And this is my caftan. So this kaftan drafting, I'm going to determine what I want my neckline to be. So from my natural neckline, I'll just go out by 2 inches. This is a small scale, so this is my 2 inches. And I'll come down with it, it depends on how you want it, by maybe 2.5 inches, 2.5. Just check out your neckline, that is all. Check out what you want on your neck 
line so it's a v neckline there and that is what we are going to work with so i'll just go ahead now and i'm going to cut my um my cow caftan into the v neckline and i'll go into the shoulder slant line i'll come from below i'll just go ahead this way okay so another thing i want to say about this if you don't want your um this part and um, you can extend it i mean you can just do something like that's on the floor line so you have freeness to work you can make an extension of say uh, maybe three inches so it flows without difficulty to work okay so take note of this you can cut from here and go from here that is if you want depending on the fabric of course the fabric you are going to use should be a fabric that will be easy unless you are making it with a lace you can extend that part so the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to make this uh, cow drapes so now the on the uh, where we are, our arm is going to pass you are going to measure from here to here at five inches and keep it open so when you are stitching you stitch from here and stop here and continue your stitching as you sew your cow caftan so this pattern you are going to use it to cut the back but your back is going to be on fold but this particular one you are going to cut for the front is not going to be on fold it's going to have a joining at the midline so this is the neckline so i have a strip of 1.5 okay or maybe two inches as you desire so or 1.5 so i'll make cut out that strip so i'll name here up i'll name this down so this is that strip you are seeing okay on the thumbnail right there so our slash and spread is going to be everything will be gathered on the neckline so that means I'll start from here. I'll just go below the hip. I'll start making my slash and spread at intervals of maybe two, two inches. You know, I'm working on a small uh, scale here. So I'm just using the width of this ruler to get my slash and spread line. So the slash and spread is pointing on the neckline where we want to gather and have our full drip so i'll just go ahead and cut out this okay so when we gather we are going to sew back so our slash lines i'm going to name my slash lines one two three four and i'll cut them this way i'm cutting them this way so by the time we slash now, we are going to have more, um, more drapes. This is a cow gun. It, it already has its own drape. But with, with this slashing now and spreading, we have a little more drape to it. So this is it. On the neckline, we just slashed. So I'll just bring in my pepper now and i'm going to start off this slash and spread so whenever you are slashing and spreading your pattern ensure you have your center front and your floor line or waistline or whatever line positioned this way so i'll apply my adhesive now as you can see i'll just apply and stick to my paper and I begin to slash and spread. So I'm spreading the neckline so I'll be able to gather it back into that cuff. So this is it. So if you want it, uh, if you want enough dropping, that's enough drip, you can go increase your slash and spread. You can do two inches from here to here. You can do three inches depending on how you want the drip to be. This is actually a very beautiful um, caftan, cow gown. So by the time you are done making it, you have that drip. So 
make sure you have this positioned well okay people so my slash and spread i have to go in okay slash and spread very well at inches you want so from here to here you can do three inches three inches and make it evenly three inches so that is the neckline we are going to gather back so i'll just go ahead and cut what i have on the floor line into the side so i'll just cut this way so this is exactly what you are going to do on your pattern so this is the center front okay and i'll just go in here now So I'm going to run my gathers, these parts, everything I have here, but I'll just use splits for them, okay? But it's going to be gather, gather, gather. So what it means is that what you are gathering, right? So what you have on from here to here, from this point to this point, remember that was where we slash and spray. You are going to bring in and uh, your strip. Okay, so let me just make of course you understand what i'm doing i'm making pleats that is bringing them back together but you are going to make gathers to it so you can see so by the time i bring it back and place i sewed my cuff back can you see you can see it so if i place my uh, cuff back what you have here is a, a cow gown already that is already draped. But with this slash and spread, it will give you a good drape. Okay? So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial. And I believe this class was helpful. So you can give this beautiful slash and spread the cow kaftan gown. Give it a try. And you can also drop your comments on the comment section. And tell us how it went so thank you for coming to this class once again i actually appreciate each and every one of you subscribers so thank you for coming and see you in the next class bye